In both China and Malaysia, Tzu volunteers held scholarship award ceremonies prior to the start of the new semester. In Jiangsu, China, volunteers held the ceremony inside a recycling education center so to also teach the students about ways to protect the environment. While in Pontian, Malaysia, volunteers held the ceremony inside a Chinese school. <laughs> Here in Pontian, Malaysia, at a new student scholarship award ceremony, 77 students from 13 schools are here to receive financial aid. I will use the financial aid to pay for my tuition. For the new school year, if I have to purchase uniforms, I will use the money for that too. Each year, we spend about three months to prepare for the new shoot scholarship award ceremony, which means we begin the process around May, and it lasts until August. After we receive a candidate's information, we we'll then visit the student at home and assess their family situation. This year, Tsuji volunteers increased their support to students from additional schools as they are not only giving out financial aid, but also using the platform as a way to spread Tsuji's ideals to more people. This is the Wuxi Tsuji Recycling Education Center. Please remember this beautiful place, because this is the place where the seeds of love are planted and grown. In China's Jiangsu, Tsuji volunteers decided to hold their scholarship award ceremony at the Wuxi Tsuji Recycling Education Center. I'm an orphan. When I heard a Tsuji auntie say that there would be mother figures in our lives, I was especially moved. Though doing recycling is easy, it is also a task that takes some effort. The love we receive from the volunteers is not only the love and care towards students in need, but also for the planet. The volunteers have put much effort into the recycling mission. That point is very clear. Using the scholarship as a catalyst to change the students' outlook towards recycling, volunteers hope that more students will get involved in doing something good for the planet.